Section four. In section four, we are going to introduce to you the rest of the family. And that is my analogy because if you learn Sokotoa, the sine of theta, the cosine of theta, the tangent of theta, and you remember that the sine of theta is the O over the H, what I have called the cousins, that's what I've always used in my AMA class because they're similar, but they're a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's people who know you and they know your cousins and you're like, man, you're just like your cousin. I don't know if you've heard that expression before, but I have. Uh, my wife and her cousin are somewhat similar and completely different at the same time. You know what I mean? But at this, so there you go. If you know that the sine of theta is O over H, the cosecant of theta would be H over O. They are just the reciprocals of each other. The cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. The cosine, if cosine of theta is A over H, then the secant of theta, its cousin, is H over A. It's the reciprocal. It's the reciprocal ratio. All you're doing is taking things that were root 3 over 2, and you're doing, instead of root 3 over 2, you're now doing 2 over root 3, and then you rationalize it. So instead of us dealing with the, uh, and if we're using the hand, instead of root 2 over 2, now we're 2 over root 2, depending on which trig function we're talking about. So the very first thing you have to get through your heads, sine and cosecant are reciprocals each other. And that's hard. And I'll tell you why it's hard. Because this one starts with C and this one starts with S. And people want the S's to match and they don't match. The one that starts with S is the one that has the second letter as the one that starts with S. Cosecant and sine are reciprocals of each other, not the other way around. Secant is the reciprocal to cosine. You have to know which ones match so you know what ratio to give me when I'm asking for it. The tangent and the cotangent, those ones are easy. Tangent, cotangent. Cosecant, secant. Sine, cosecant. That's how I pronounce those things. Cosecant is spelled this way, um, the full way. This is how it's abbreviated. Secant is spelled this way. This is how it's abbreviated. And cotangent is spelled this way. And that's how it's abbreviated. So as I mentioned, the cousins are just the reciprocals of the three trig functions. They are the same signs as their cousins in the respective quadrants. So what does that mean? That means this. Earlier I showed you. Come on. Type. Oh. Earlier. Nope, didn't do it to me. Come on. Type. <laughs> Pin color. Let's try that. Earlier, I taught you that in this quadrant right here, that the cosine is negative and that the sine is positive. Yes? Well, what does that mean? That means that the secant, let me ask you, secant in quadrant two. The secant, is it positive or is it negative? Wait, think about your answer. Tell the person you're sitting next to. I am hoping you said negative. If you said negative, please raise your hand so I can visually see how many of you got it correct. 60% of my class got that right. Let's review. Secant is the cousin to cosine. In quadrant two, the cosine is negative. Therefore, the secant has to be negative. You have to know that the secant 
is the cousin to cosine because if you know the cosine sign <laughs> that's right uh, the the uh whether it's positive or negative then you'll know whether the secant is going to be positive or negative in quadrant two okay let's ask a different question in quadrant three the cosecant is it positive or negative discuss with your neighbor cosecant positive or negative in quadrant three How many of you said negative? Raise your hand. Oh, way better. That's way better. That's at least 90% of my class got it correct. It is negative. How come? In quadrant three, this is what happens. We have the cosine's negative and the sine is negative. So the cousin to sine, since that's negative, the cousin needs to be negative as well. So we almost had everybody. I'll do one more cotangent of theta in quadrant Three. Cotangent of theta in quadrant three. Is it positive or negative? Discuss with your partner. And how many of you? said positive raise your hand that is literally almost my entire class almost my entire class let's go to quadrant three the sine divided by the cosine means that the tangent a negative divided by negative is a positive by the way all students take calculus take is positive in that quadrant so cotangent has to be the same as that okay the rest of what I have you do is on your worksheet. If you want to do this on your worksheet, these are examples. Feel free to do them with me. Here are my directions. For problems one through five, use triangle ABC. Find the value of all six trig functions for the given angle. Don't forget to rationalize answers when necessary. I'm going to do number two with you. This is what number two looks like. You're given six things. You have to find five of them and only one of them is given for you. But you're given a picture and so we're going to have to do this problem with only one starting point, And this is your starting point. You know that the cosine of B is root 39 over 8. So let's put that in our picture. Here's angle B. Whoop. I feel let me draw. There we go. Here's angle B. If you are still struggling, I would recommend labeling O, H, and A. Oh, ha, ha. There we go. It comes back. It's a common thread. Cosine. Ka. A over H. I know that the A is root 39 on this side. I know that the H is 8. That comes from unit 7A. And if I know two sides of a right triangle, how do we find the third side? We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So how do I do the Pythagorean theorem? I do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so off to the side here, I can do root 39 squared. That's easy. Plus, I don't know what little b is squared equals 8 squared. So I have 39 plus b squared equals 64. I'm going to subtract 39. 
from 64. Come on. B squared equals 25. Square root, square root. B has to be equal to 5. Once you have that, guess what? Now you have all the information to answer all five and six questions because we have our O over H. We have our O over A. We have our A over O. We have our Ocho H over O. Uh, oh, that, oh, that was a mistake. Uh, there you go. But let's do it. So now I can answer the questions. The sine of angle B is the O over H. So Katoa, the O over H is? 5 over 8. That's my ratio. That's what it asked me to find in the directions. Find the value of all six trig functions for the given angle. Rationalize when necessary. 5 over 8. They already gave me cosine of B. Now for the tangent of angle B, I have to have TOA, the O over the A, which is 5 over root 39. Can I leave my answer as 5 over root 39? Do I get full credit if I do that? No. You lose a point. Some of you forgot to rationalize. Rationalize does not mean turn it into a decimal, by the way. So some of you on your test, you lost a point because you turned things into decimals and left decimals in your fractions, and that is not okay. We never leave decimals inside our fractions. We rationalize. What does that mean? Multiply by root 39 over root 39. Technically, we're multiplying by 1, which <coughs> means the top is 5 root 39 over 39, which doesn't reduce. Here is your tangent of B. The cosecant of B is the reciprocal to the sine. They put them next to each other so you can remember that the cousin of sine is cosecant. So if this one is O over H, the other one is H over O, I don't even need to write H over O. I'm just going to flip it. Instead of 5 over 8, it is? That's how simple the cousins are. All you do is do the reciprocal, a.k.a. the reciprocal of the fraction. Ooh. Yeah, that's a made-up word, by the way. That's some messed up, made-up word, Mr. Problem made up, but it actually makes sense, doesn't it? Sad. Your brain is just as demented as mine. Here we go. When you flip A over H, this one's a little bit harder. Can I leave my answer as 8 over root 39? Is that okay? No. Have to rationalize for full credit. Multiply by root 39 over root 39. I'm going to jump right to it. It is, it is 8 root 39 over 39 because that's a prime number. It's not going to reduce. Cotangent of B. Now, I'm not going to rationalize this one because this one I had to rationalize. If I go back to this one right here and do the re reciprocal, I almost said reciprocal, uh, it comes out rationalized. It's kind of nice if I just jump to there. Any questions over number two? My answers are what you see there. You will get hopefully so good, you won't even need to deal with the triangle. You can pretty much figure things out when they just give it to you. You'll be able to figure out what the uh, O has to be and then go right into those answers without even using the picture. But I might end up drawing a triangle for each one if I were you. My other two examples I've decided to do for you or with you is 16 and 22. First one says, what's the cosecant of zero degrees? I'm going to draw just a very quick unit circle over here. And I'm going to put zero degrees right there. And I'm going to put the ordered pair, which is this ordered pair. Okay. I'm hoping you know where that came from because that's in section five. Okay. 
Now, the cosecant is the reciprocal of which one? Of which cousin? It's cousin to who? Sign. What's my sign right here? So here's how you do the reciprocal of it. It's 1 over this value. 1 divided by 0. What happens when you divide by 0? You break the calculator. The calculator says error, syntax error, because it doesn't exist. This is undefined. If you ever divide by 0, you have to know that doesn't exist. It is undefined. Your calculator will say error or syntax error if you even do that. Depends on your calculator, by the way. There we go. How do we do the cosecant of 300? For those of you who need the unit circle, I'm going to go and draw a quick one. This is 300 degrees right there. I know that theta prime is 60 degrees. The other thing that I check is cosecant, you just told me, was the reciprocal of sine. I have to decide in quadrant four, is the sine positive or negative? Do you know? It's the y value. Is the y ab above or positive? Below is negative. So this is definitely going to be a negative value. What I do personally is I go like this and I go 0, 30, 45, 60, and I fold down 60. I go, this is the cousin to sine, and I know the sine is root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. What's the reciprocal of that? Is that rationalized? So I would have to rationalize it. I'm not going to show you how to rationalize. I feel that you should know how to do that. If you need more on how to rationalize, just multiply by root 3 over root 3. And my final answer for the cosecant of 300 degrees is negative 2 root 3 over 3. Hopefully that makes sense to you, and hopefully you know how to do all the problems now that are on this worksheet. I'm going to stop your recording right there.